and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making a fun layered goat milk soap and the fragrance that I'm going to be using today is this red berry rhubarb from Be Scented. Oh this smells juicy and delicious and all that good stuff um, and for my color I'm going to use my red obsession from Nurture Soap and it has um, Kind of a pinky hue you can see here so uh, I'm very excited to use this color I've used it uh, in a small portion for a swirl but it's going to be my dominant color today I thought the you know red berry rhubarb I grew up in Wisconsin and rhubarb was a summer staple we'd take the big stalks and dip them in sugar and chomp on them and yum <laughs> anyway it was good stuff um, and the leaves were so big we'd pretend they were umbrellas but anyway, for the plan today is I am going to split the batch off and make a port. I want to do layers and I would like to try and do a pointy layer and I'll show you that as we go. It's a drizzle as you're pouring and it's really cool and I want to do gradations starting from darkest up to lightest, um, adding a little a lighter soap or titanium dioxide as we go with the layers. So that's sort of the plan in my mind today. I'm going to gather all my ingredients, get my goat milk lye solution ready to go. Let's come back and make some layered up berry rhubarb soap today. All right, we're back and I've got all my oils and butters melted together. And to this I have my organic colloidal oats, my kale and clay, and I'm gonna be adding my fragrance right in here because I don't wanna mess with it later and it's not supposed to cause any acceleration. So uh, we'll go ahead and give it a whirl in there. I'm just gonna get that blended in and then I will actually add my mica to this entire batch right now. Let me go ahead and get this pulled out so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to go ahead and color this entire batch of oil before we add our goat milk over here because um, I want the bottom layer dark and then as we climb up I have my big squeezy bottle of titanium dioxide here all ready to go. So I'll show you how I add that in later. So let's go ahead and get this blended in. What a beautiful color. That is looking a little pink to me. So I have this matte Americana red oxide. I am going to go ahead and add just a touch of that maybe that's probably a half a teaspoon in there because I want this more red than pink I don't mind a little pinky overtones but I want a more red base color all right I think that that's got it down it still has very fuchsia type pinky but I think it's more red now so I'm ha much happier with that so uh Oil's ready to go. Here's my goat milk lye solution, which does have tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate. And I didn't add any titanium dioxide, so you can see how buttery yellow that goat milk gets. But um, that's okay because this is all colored and I'm not worried about a white soap at all. So let's go ahead and get that blended in. And I'm actually going to just give it a quick burst with the stick blender and pull it and we'll hand stir. All right, I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to hand stir this. And I'm going to pour just a little teeny bit of the brightest color here off for the topping. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to proceed. Now this is kind of a big container to do a pointy swirl. Typically you want uh, the smaller containers with a little pour spout, but I'm kind of doing the cheater method here. We'll see how it goes. It might not work out. <laughs> we may end up with just some interesting layers. And you know what? That's okay too. But um, I'm all about conserving dishes and all that. So if I can pour from this big container and not have to dirty a bunch of little containers, I'm happy. No big deal. So looks like we've got emulsion and I'm just going to pour off 
A little here, just to save for the top. I don't need a lot. There we go. That'll probably do me. Set that off to the side. And this is pretty fluid. That's great. I mean, we need that. You want kind of a medium, you know, to lighter trace so that when you do pour, you want it to break the surface, but you don't want it to sink all the way down and bleed into it. That's the theory anyway. So I am actually going to hop back over here with my stick blender and just give it a quick buzz because this is so fluid. Not a lot, just a little. Oh, that rhubarb smells divine. I really like it. That's a nostalgic smell for me. All right, there we go. We got a little bit of a trace coming or a thickening. All right, nice and workable. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my base layer. And then we'll start lightening this up as we go each layer by layer. So I just want to cover the bottom there. And now I've got my squeezy bottle of TD. And uh, I'm just going to do, not even measuring, I'm going to do one squeeze. And let's see how that lightens it up. If we can get a little bit of a color differential. Yeah, that's a little. All right, so now the pointy swirl is I want to drizzle a thin line and go back and forth, and I want gaps between it when I start. Um, like that. And it's supposed to make a pointy layer. We'll see. This I think this is a little too runny. We'll just keep going and see how it comes out. This is going to be a cool experiment anyway. All right. We're going to add a little more TD. Another squeeze. And as we keep getting shallower in here and adding the TD, it's going to get lighter and lighter as we go to the top.
and it's been about 24 hours. I did put a blanket over this and let it go through gel phase last night. So let's get in here and see. Ooh, this smells good. This rhubarb scent is divine. Really like it. I'm very curious to see if this has got pointy layers or if it's more of an ombre. But uh, this is going to be interesting. Can't wait to get in here. show you what I think is going on so it's a very subtle sort of ombre up which is cool but these little dots um, because my goat milk was frozen I added this organic sugar which is unrefined and I don't think I waited for it to dissolve all the way so this has like little sugar pearls throughout it which I think is great so it's gonna have a sugar scrub it'll help to the lather but um that is a word to the wise to make sure your sugar is dissolved all the way. But anyway, I think those are pretty cool looking. Not, not what I was expecting, but I'm still happy with it and they smell wonderful. <laughs> 